When you work in the code editor, the IDE inspects your code and highlights any issues it detects on the fly. You can then run a single inspection or all inspections in batch mode from time to time to monitor your project's shape. But is this enough to maintain and improve the quality of your code? Maybe there's a better way? Introducing Kadana, where you can now run these checks as part of your continuous integration workflow. You can get an overview of the entire project state or drill down into specific categories or individual checks. The current state of your project will be always visible and up to date. As you are navigating the chart, the results filter updates on the fly. You can adjust your selection from here too and save this state as a filter for something worth looking into in the future. You can then continue exploring the issues in your code base and instantly switch to this filter whenever you want. You can select the specific issue you'd like to work on and click the Open in IDE button. If you have the project cloned locally and have opened it at least once in the IDE, Kadana will take you right to the problematic spot. IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate is already supported and other JetBrains IDEs will be added soon. We are now literally an alt enter away from fixing the problem. So let's do just that and return to Kadana. Below the chart, you'll find the Problems tab, which lists all the issues detected in your project. Here, you can exclude a file from inspection, as well as disable a single check or the entire category. On the Files tab, you can browse the project files and view the detected problems on a per-file basis. From here, you can also exclude any unrequired folders from analysis. In Kadana, a set of checks and the files they are applied to is called a profile. To view it, click the Edit Profile link at the top. Here, you can view the list of all available checks and enable or disable them as per your requirements. All the adjustments made to the profile are reflected in the kadana.yaml file. As you can see, it now lists the inspection we just enabled, the set of previously disabled checks from the regular expressions category, and the excluded tests directory. From here, you can review and further modify the file's content or reset all the current changes. You can download this file, store it under your project root, and customize it from there. All subsequent Kodana runs will be performed according to the parameters specified in kodana.yaml. After you have performed several runs, click the Compare with Build toggle to view how your latest run compares against any previous one, what problems were fixed, and what new issues appeared. So, how do you get started with Kodana? To get a feel for how it all works, you can use the Sandbox Playground, which runs in the JetBrains Cloud CI, TeamCity. In the browser, go to kadana.teamcity.com and select the Login as Guest option. Here, select one of the pre-configured Java or PHP projects to explore. Then select a build and switch to the Kadana tab to see what problems it found. Browse the list of inspections it ran and try out different options. The next step is trying Kadana with your own project. First, you can run a one-shot analysis locally. Run the docker pull command to pull the Kadana image from Docker Hub. To run the analysis on a PHP project, run an additional docker run command to install composer dependencies. For Java projects, this step is not needed. Then run the docker run command, specifying the project source code directory. The show report option lets you start the web server to provide the view of the results. After the analysis is finished, open the provided localhost URL in your browser to examine the identified problems and the performed checks. And since Kadana is packed into a ready-to-use Docker image, you can easily integrate it into virtually any CI pipeline in a similar manner. If you are a GitHub user, you can get Kadana as a GitHub app or GitHub action, which are already available on GitHub Marketplace. The Kadana GitHub app can be installed to specific public GitHub repositories or entire organizations by an organization owner or a repository admin. In fact, we're already using it ourselves to monitor all incoming pull requests in several JetBrains repositories, such as PHP Storm Stubs. If there is a problem in your pull request, the Kadana app adds a comment to each problematic line. You can open the Kadana Analytics results page to get a detailed summary. 
Kadana GitHub Action is a more general tool that provides continuous code inspection and can be set up in single repositories. To get started with it, simply paste the provided snippet into your workflows.yaml definition file. The Kadana GitHub Action documentation provides an example of a simple yet fully functional workflow. It will run code inspections on your repository and provide you with a downloadable artifact. Inside, you will find all the raw code analysis data for further examination. You can start a web server in this folder and open the results in the familiar Kadana interface. But of course, we can do better. Let's go back to the workflow definition and add a couple of extra actions there. The first one would download the produced artifact for further processing. The second one will grab the report folder from the artifact and deploy it straight to GitHub pages. Let's run the action. And then head to the published GitHub pages site. And here it is, your Kadana inspection report freely accessible on the web. And if you are using GitLab CI CD, Kadana's got you covered too. You can start with an example GitLab CI.yaml job definition, which is available in our docs. It will run code inspections on the repository. And you can then explore and share the generated report right from GitLab. So what do you think? Wait, there's more. Okay, and now what do you think? Let us know in the comments below or in the Kadana issue tracker. Kadana is in the early access phase and your feedback can really help us along the way. To discover even more usage scenarios, see the Kadana docs. Thank you for watching.